Now, you're watching this video because either you're refinancing your house or you're selling your house and you've been handed an appraisal that is way too low and now the buyers are asking you to reduce the purchase price. I'm Chris Bade at Keller Williams Realty. How do you challenge a low appraisal? We're going to talk about that coming up. Let's first back up for a second and talk exactly what is an appraisal because that is important to understand. An appraiser is a third party person that works for the bank and what they're doing is determining the exact value of your home. So how is it that they do that? Well, first, one of the things that they do is they determine the value by looking at similar homes in the area that have recently sold. That's going to be the first thing they do. They're actually going to look at the number of days it takes to sell a home in the particular neighborhood you're either refinancing or buying in. For example, let's say you're moving to University Heights. Now, even though 92116 encompasses University Heights, Normal Heights, and Kensington, the appraiser, if they know what they're doing in those neighborhoods, is really going to evaluate what's going on in those three separate neighborhoods. Now, while University Heights and Normal Heights have a lot of similarities, we do know that the price per square foot in Kensington is significantly higher. The homes over over there costing a little bit more. So the appraiser is going to go in and take a look at all of that to also help determine the value. They're also going to obviously look at bedrooms, bathrooms, and any distinct features you have in the home. So now what happens if the appraisal comes in low? Here's some things that you can do as a homeowner to see if you can get that appraisal bumped. Now, keep in mind, if you're trying to sell your home and you are handed a low appraisal on your property that is less than the contract price, you're not the one that can actually go and try to fight that appraisal. But what you can do is do some of these tricks to provide to the buyer's agent and then hopefully what they'll do is take that back and get a new appraisal. So what are those things? Obviously, one of the things you want to do is have the full appraisal in front of you. You cannot find out what the mistakes are in the appraisal if you can't have the full report in front of you. Number two, look for any mistakes on it. First of all, square footage. Is the square footage correct? Now, sometimes appraisers do get lazy and they don't actually measure the home. Or, for example, the tax records aren't necessarily up to date. Say you just finished a remodel on your property and you took your home from 800 square feet to 1,000 square feet. That's going to make a huge difference. But if the county assessor's office, even though you've gotten everything permitted, has not caught up with the um, the tax records, then the appraiser, if they don't go in and measure the home, then they're not doing their due diligence. They're actually being quite lazy. So you want to go through with a fine tooth comb and look for any mistakes. What you want to do is look for any comparisons that you don't agree with. So what the appraiser is going to do is they're going to take your home, which is going to be called the subject, and then they're going to compare it for up to three to five homes in the neighborhood to determine the overall value of the property. Now, if they are doing it right, they're really only going to go about a half a mile out from your house. However, if your home is truly unique, they may go out a little bit further and they may go out, let's say, maybe a mile and a half. That's really stretching it, but that's what they're going to try to do. So what does what constitutes a unique home? Let's say, for example, you're in a neighborhood where most of the homes are 800 square feet, but yours is 2,000 square feet because it's been torn down and rebuilt. That would be very unique. Let's say it's a brand new construction in a neighborhood that is transitioning and um, there's a lot of people moving in and flipping homes. That might be a challenge. So those are kind of the things where appraisers are going to look for that and they may stretch out their comps and that's okay. So what do you look out for? The top three are age of the home, amenities, condition, and location. So 
does the condition of the home that you are appraising match the condition of the home selling in the other areas? So for example, if your home is completely upgraded and you've spent thousands of dollars, let's say on a kitchen remodel, and the appraiser is going through and they are comparing your home to a home that does not have an upgraded kitchen, that's going to be a challenge. Now keep in mind, you're going to see the addresses that they compare them to and typically those homes are going to be very similar to yours and they're also going to be homes that recently sold. So you'll be able to go and look up those pictures. So if there is an opportunity for you to do that and you can show that your kitchen and bathrooms were remodeled, your home is totally redone, that provides value. Now keep in mind, as a listing agent, one of the things I do is I provide all the upgrades and things that you've done to the home. Now, just because an appraiser can't see, for example, the system things that you've done, the new roof, the new plumbing, the new electrical, we're gonna provide all that information to them and proof that they've actually done it. They can see things like kitchen cabinets, bathroom remodels, all that kind of stuff, new flooring, carpeting, new windows, but if you've gone in and done the system stuff the home and not the aesthetics, that's going to provide a lot of value. If you can prove you've redone the foundation, then that is going to provide value. All these things are going to give your value of your home a boost. So you want to go through and look for those mistakes. Now you wanna go through and make sure that there are no permit issues, so this is a big deal. There's a lot of people who get construction done on their homes without permits. Now, if your neighbor reports you and you get busted by the city, yes, you are gonna to have to go get retroactive permits. Those are not gonna be a good thing because in some cases the city could make you tear down or pull back walls in order to make sure that the work was done in a workmanlike fashion. If it's not, then they're gonna make you fix it. So my suggestion always is get the permits. You don't wanna have any issues, but you know, there's plenty of people out there who go and buy homes without permits on remodels that were done. A lot of it, flippers will flip homes without permits. Just be aware of that. But if they get reported, they're gonna to have to come back and get those permits taken care of. Now, one of the things that you can do, which we talked about before, is petitioning your appraiser for a different appraisal or one of the things that I always do. For example, if I get a phone call from an appraiser from let's say a 714 area code and we're in 619, 858, and 760, if we're in one of those three, these zip codes, or excuse me, area codes, and my appraiser is coming from Orange County, I'm always questioning whether or not they actually live here in San Diego. So if they're driving 90 miles to do a $400 appraisal, no, 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 we want someone who's local to San Diego. So make sure the appraiser knows the inventory knows the market now this goes for micro markets even in san diego so if you've got someone praising property up in oceanside rancho santa fe and you need to get an appraisal down in north park for example those are two completely different neighborhoods so you want to make sure that the person that is evaluating your property knows the area now, if you have any questions about how to fight an appraisal, feel free to reach out to me at 619-818-2992. I look forward to talking to you all soon. I hope you are well. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.